It feels like Bill Bellamy has been at the top of his game for his entire career, from his MTV days in the 90s to becoming a stand-up stalwart to movies and more. Now he's adding author to his resume with his new book, Top Billin. Yes. Welcome back, Bill. I know, Sarah. I, it sounds so <laughs> weird to hear you say author because it sounds yeah. so sophisticated. It does. I mean, what, how does that feel it's a that really you're good, an author it's a, now? It's a great feeling, you know. Um, it's a journey. You know, it's a new chapter in my yeah. career. Something that I've never done before, obviously comedy, movies, TV, all that. But being an author, sitting down and uh, really just opening up about your life and how you feel about it and what you went through. Yeah. And there's some funny, funny stuff. And then there's some really vulnerable moments. And then there's obstacles because life there is was like a that. Lot. There were vulnerable moments. And I feel like, you know, I got to know you even a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And I've known you for like at least a decade, 15 Easy. years. Um, but you had a book signing last night in Newark, yes. which is where you grew up. So what was it like to bring this? This book, oh, wow. your life, wow. to your hometown. It was surreal, actually, and then it was just very rewarding because the people that uh, came out last night, they were really fans, and they knew my story, and they knew that I am from the city. You yeah. know what I mean? And it was just like this whole pride, and you know, people were like, "Oh my God, man, you just you make us look so good." And I love, I love that you're going to share with us. Like yeah. most celebrities don't ever want to open up about anything. And I was like, "Well, I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place that I can do that." Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel good about it. But you know, you write about um, there are no you, you believe, and you wrote about there are no coincidences mm -hmm. in life. Yeah. When did you realize that that was true for you? When things started to just happen for me in such a way that it's almost unbelievable. It's like, how did I get here? What made me come to this club this night yeah. specifically and this and then this talent scout saw me. Like I could have went to another club, right? But no, I was supposed to be there. Yeah. Boom, I get MTV. How was it how was it a coincidence that I got to perform on Def Comedy Jam, which was the biggest thing HBO had launched in the 90s. I was there. Like, it was just crazy. But don't you think that part of that is your positive <laughs> attitude? Like, oh my God. But you know what I mean? I feel like people get signs all the time and they ignore them. That's true. But you were listening. It seems like you were listening yeah. to your gut, which yeah. is amazing. And you would also talk about this hustle that you just have. Like, yeah. you've always had. Where, where did that confidence come from? You said that, that Bill Bellamy was the brand you needed to invest in. Yeah, because when I was in college, like, I thought of brands, you know, let's just say, a McDonald's, let's say um, a Kodak. Like brands are consistent. Like yeah. brands that people like, they always you come. Can count to, on you it. can count on. Yeah. So you have to be like a, a major brand. Yeah. And so I, I thought of myself, what if Bill Bellamy was a company? How would I want fans to feel about it? Happy. I love that. Good. Uh, you know it's going to be great. Like, yeah. You know, as soon as you say my name, people go, what? You know what well, I mean? See, as soon as I knew you were coming, I was like, yay! Yeah. I'm so glad Bill's coming. Because it's not, you don't want, you want to make people happy because yeah. I feel like in life, life is so crazy and what we went through through COVID and people raising kids and, you know, keeping their lives together to laugh and to express joy is actually wonderful. Yes, it actually yeah, is. Yeah, and we yeah. all should do it more often. Yeah. But you also write in the book about the 90s, being on MTV in the 90s. Like, for, from someone who, like, lived the 90s to the fullest. To the top of the top. To the top of the top. <laughs> like, how do you look back and feel about those times in the 90s? This is the thing that I want people to understand. All the stars that you see now got their break in the 90s. Yeah. So you got to understand the Jay-Z's, the Beyonce's, Mariah Carey, it goes on and on. Red Hot Chili Peppers. These guys were breaking at the time. Yeah. No doubt. I was there. And yeah. I'm like, oh, you my God. Everyone them. was brand new. Yeah. And what a moment. What a wave of pop culture. So when I'm, when I'm re rehashing my life and I'm looking at all these pictures, like I had like a thousand pictures that I from different artists and moments and beach house and this and I'm like wow my life looked like a movie yeah. it didn't even look real but like when doing this book I imagine then yes. like just having to to go through your life in this way was yes. kind of like I, you know what I've been living I good. did all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really did. I really said that. I said, I man, I'm very blessed to yeah. to affect a lot of people's lives in a good way, break a lot of artists, travel yeah. the world, have these like, oh my God moments. You know, when I, do, even on Instagram, sometimes I like, I'll leak one of my Hollywood stories and people go crazy. They yeah. don't believe it really happened. Well, I'll say this. I'm going to second that, that you do make people happy. You make me happy. I'm so glad that you came oh, here today. And I'm, I loved reading your book. Bill's book, Top Billin, is out everywhere now. So be sure to grab a copy. It's yes. all about making the right choices. Make the too. right choices yeah. and live your dream. Yes. 